you guys are feeling great today. I'm Rahma, an Education Facilitator at National Gallery Singapore. Have you heard of our local artist, Choi Wing Yang? Today, we'll be creating our very own masterpiece inspired by one of his artworks. This artwork is titled Chinatown by artist Choi Wing Yang. Let's take a closer look. Firstly, let's spot all the colors. There are red, blue, yellow, green, black and white. Now, let's zoom in to the bottom part of this painting. Could those be people? Look for the little circles that are the heads of nine persons. Look at the middle and top part of the painting. Can you spot the arches neatly placed on two rows? They remind me of windows. Hmm, since this artwork is titled Chinatown, I think it tells the story of the colourful shop houses that can be found in Chinatown. Let's imagine. How would this painting feel if you could touch it? Looking at how it's painted, I'm guessing hard and bumpy. We can say that this is a textured artwork because it looks like it might feel something to the touch. Texture is how something feels when we touch it. It could also be visual where it is made to show how it could be felt. This bunny over here feels soft and furry in my hands. While these monkeys in my storybook have been made to look hairy. Isn't it really cool how textures can make an artwork look more lively and interesting just like in that Chinatown painting? What do you say we play around with textures and create our very own artwork? We'll be making a textured tree. To begin, let's first collect materials with an interesting texture. Walk around your neighborhood and see if you can collect some leaves. Be sure to only pick from the ground. Run your finger along its veins. Can you feel its texture? Back at home, invite your family to join you. Here we have a piece of Lego and a badminton racket, a small pot and a placemat, a jar and how about the basket itself? For the art supplies, we will be using some oil pastels and a thin piece of paper, glue, pencil and scissors, recycled paper out of a magazine or a newspaper, and a piece of construction paper. I don't have any at hand, so I will just be using the cardboard out of my cereal box. Firstly, place your thin piece of paper over your chosen material. With your oil pastel, rub on your paper to get the textured effect. Here's a tip, only use the long part of your oil pastel. You can try layering your textures with different materials and colours. When your paper is all filled up, you can proceed to draw and cut your leaves out. Place your leaves aside. It's time to create the tree trunk and branches. Use your recycled paper to tear them out into strips. Play around with it to see how you can get the rough texture of a tree trunk. When you are ready, glue it down to your construction paper or your cardboard. Gather your leaf cutouts and place them around your tree. Try them in different spots to see which arrangement you like best. And voila! You now have your very own artwork of a textured tree. Feel the texture on your tree trunk and branches. Notice the visual texture on your leaves. Well done, little artists! I hope you are proud of your textured tree. You can use the same methods to create something different. Something like flowers, an aquarium, or even a mermaid on the rocks. All right now, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me and bye-bye.